Okay, hello there guys, welcome back to another pv.net tutorial. Uh, we are continuing our uh, simplified accounting system and uh, this is video number five I think. Okay, um, so I just booted the machine, it's kind of slow at the beginning, um, yeah. So uh, let's go here. It's our simplified accounting system and in the last video uh, we created the accounts class and we were able to add uh, accounts into the database using insert into database function okay it was very straightforward kind of okay and uh, basically We finished about 25% of the project, I suppose. So let's see. Just a few seconds, please. Bear with me. Uh, the machine is booting, this is why it's kind of slow. Anyway, so we created the accounts class. There we go, so we finished that. Uh, next, we are going to create the VARS class. Now, we already have the VARS table, but the VARS class will help us save and load variables quickly without calling the, um, uh, the, the data tables and stuff like that. So, it, it makes our life a little bit easier. Okay, simplifying things, that's the most important thing. So, right click on our lib.db project and I'm going to say add and I will select a class okay uh, now the class name should be vars class there you go so this is vars class and add okay so now what do we have we we need two variables let me show the table again this is the connection in the server explorer. If you don't uh, know what that is, go to view and uh, server explorer. You open that. Okay. Waiting. Okay, there you go. You open the tables and this is the vars table. It has two columns, var name, var value. So here there's going to be uh, uh, I won't create member uh, variables, but rather I will create two methods that will be used directly. So the, uh, the first, uh, without creating, without the need for creating objects. So I will say public shared um, set variable value. Okay, so I'm gonna ask. Uh, our class to set the variable value there's going to be a function okay and it should receive um, a database manager class as database manager class followed by variable name of that string followed by variable value a string followed by error message a string in case any, any error happens there and com, uh, commit as boolean in case we want to commit the changes very straightforward and finally this should return boolean so we have try catch so I suppose that so this function allows you to set a variable value in the database okay now if there's any error we are going to say db.rollback is the first thing error message equals ax.message and also we will uh, we will log the error here we have this part copy these because I'm lazy Okay, so we are going to log the error and return false. However, this part is where we are going to insert our, uh, sorry, we are supposed to update the variable. 
but why, what I am gonna do I'm gonna remove the old variable record and insert a new one instead okay and the reason for that is because it is because it allows me very easily to um, um, uh, add a new variable without have uh, or update a variable even if there is no record uh, I will show you so here I'm gonna say db.execute sql uh, delete from uh, vars where var name equals add zero and this parameter is gonna be variable name okay so we are deleting the variable and now we are inserting it again db execute sql and search into vars uh, var name var value right values at zero at one so there's going to be variable name and variable value okay so let's assume that you want to set some kind of variable uh that that you you did and you forgot to insert its record into the database using this technique will guarantee that you that this method will create the variable for you even if you didn't have it set before okay so if the variable is there it is going to delete it and create it again if it does not exist this will have no effect and things will work normally here uh, of course you must be aware of race conditions so uh, you must pay attention to uh, to this one while uh, you are working in our case it's very probable that we we, we are not going to run into race conditions so I, I am not worried about this one but if you ch uh, check the accounts table you find that I added uh, an account version that's because uh, accounts are uh, it's important to know if there is any race condition on the accounts in the case of variables it's not important for now maybe later on uh, if it is required we will add version number to the variable maybe okay so I don't know for now now um, we just add if commit then dba dot comment uh, sorry db dot commit and we return true okay and here you could set the variable uh, this is uh, the, the variable description but I think this is very obvious since we are the one uh, working on the project everyone's with me so I assume that you are all understanding what the name uh, what the what's the meaning of these variables uh, things are not very complicated here now let us test this one now uh, you might not be familiar with the shared keyword here now if there is a function or a subroutine that is that have shared in front of it what that means is well it means that this you don't require an object to call this one this is not a, a, a member function or uh, or uh, subroutine it does not have its variable uh, it does not have variable or it doesn't and it cannot access the, the members because it is not an object this is an independent function it's just that it happens to be defined inside that inside that class okay so there is no object here there are no members there is no object here and I will show you okay so let's go to the uh, form over here I'm gonna copy this button for some reason I like it when it has the same size as the other so here I'm gonna say test insert bar okay now I'm gonna copy some of the code here yeah I'll copy this code and modify it because I am lazy okay so here very simply we are creating a database object new one and error message and we are opening the connection and now this is the important part I'm gonna modify this one okay so in the previous code if you have a look here we are creating a new object of type accounts class here we are not gonna do that at all instead we are gonna do the following uh, if not lib 
dot dv dot vars class dot set variable you can see that here I didn't create an object I called the class name and then I called the name of the method or function inside that class I'm gonna pass TV object in, into that and the variable um, test var for example I want the variable name to be test var and hello okay and uh, that's it okay oh sorry not that's it other uh, parameters are error message and I want to commit the changes okay this is a test maybe I want to, if I'm doing some big transaction or then you, I might want to commit the changes so it's very straightforward let's test it out uh, we're gonna click here and test and success now let me show you here what happened right click on the bars and I will call this one show table data and you can see the test bar with hello so now inserting values into the database is uh, into the parse table is possible I can add a few things but now let me add the other method now we are able to insert values what about loading values okay so here I'm gonna say public shared function get variable value db as database database manager class followed by variable variable name okay a string and uh, yeah and I might want to set uh, by ref variable value a string because I want to get the value back and also virus error msg since we are not modifying any data so there is no need for uh, the comment parameter here and this will return boolean try so if there is any problem we are gonna log the error so this code will log everything for us um, forget to set the data type here okay so you can see Visual Studio just put this line underneath it. If I put there, then all parameters must be explicitly, explicitly typed. So I didn't set the type for error message, which is a string. You just add string here. It is good I made a mistake here. Okay, now let us add the code for loading the variable. So here, dimension dt equals uh, db dot uh, full data table select star from vars where var name equals at zero and the first parameter or parameter zero would be variable name okay so this should return a data, a data table for us so now if dt dot rows dot count equals zero which means that the variable does not exist then dt dot dispose sorry i must destroy the data table object Okay, releasing its memory so that I don't have memory leak. Uh, error message equal variable not uh, uh, not found. Okay, and then I will say db dot rollback every function that fails, it will roll back the transaction. Okay, so this is very important, and I'm gonna say return false. However if everything is fine I'm gonna do the following I would say variable value equals dt dot rows of zero which is the first row dot item of what's the name of the second column it's a var value okay and I'm gonna do something simple here I will add and person and okay now the reason for this one it is possible if you pass an empty string it's possible that and db null value to be returned now if you want to get the db null value and put it in a string variable you might get an error now if you put the ampersand here and the uh, the symbol and the an empty string 
Visual Studio with convert the DB null value into a string before inserting it here and thus you will avoid a DB null exception okay so you, you won't have a problem here okay because uh, it is a very rare case but if it happens it will cause you lots of headache but this simple trick will help you avoid the problem altogether now uh, since we finished this one we just need to destroy the data table so we dispose of that and then return true it's as simple as that this function is used to load a variable from the database okay very straightforward now let us save this code and write the test for it as well so again I'm gonna copy I'm gonna paste okay test load var wonderful so now let us just copy this code again I'm a lazy person control C go here control V so we are opening everything and now I need to define uh, val a string okay so instead of set the variable I'm gonna say get variable value and I will say here val okay there's no okay it's the same code not much of a difference give a new line and I will add the val value okay so check out the test very straightforward we are opening a connection as usual and then we are calling the get variable value in the bars class passing the database object the variable name and the value will be returned here with an error message if any okay so it is very straightforward now before we do anything let me remove the variable okay let's remove, remove that Come on, dude. Where's the delete? This is the delete, and yes, I want to delete that. Okay, that's wonderful. And now we are going to run this project. Okay, so now there's no variable. I will click here, fail, and variable not found. So we got an error, the variable is not found there. Okay, so I'll press here, and now we got a variable that is saved into the database. I press this button, the load, and the variable value is hello so now saving and loading variables uh, is finished successfully with no problem so let's go back here and let us mark this one as done right uh, not the account table the bars good okay so this is the bars table so we created this one and uh, we finished this step okay uh, I'm supposed to work on these a little bit faster but for today I'm afraid uh, I've been a little bit busy so I don't have much time for, for the rest of the video so I'm gonna just stop here we, we just created the VARS table and uh, as a review of what we did today we learned something new okay uh, it's not a new but uh, for people who didn't try it out before uh, there's this shirt keyword it means that this function or this method um, is not uh, being accessed uh, it, it is not a member uh, of the uh, class but rather it can be um, accessed without creating objects okay it's just a normal function uh, that could uh, that just happen to be part of the class uh, it has some few features like it can I think access uh, member variables of objects if you pass these objects into into the function as parameters anyway we, we won't be doing uh, this thing unless we need to but uh, that's all that's all for today um, if you want uh, to download the source code it is available on the website um, and uh, 
that's it thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye okay have to stop it